hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V Synthiopia. So today I think I'll just start playing right away. Um, we have probably another war with Shaka ahead and I'm quite curious how that will go because I think if we can successfully get through the, let's say, first 10 turns, something like that, of this war, then we should be able to fortify our... Uh, western border and then um, it should be fine ish um, at least we'll we, we should have enough time to get steel and uh, once we get that then we just quickly upgrade our front line, front line to Cheva and at that point I think we can feel safe for a while mm. is there anything that we need to do right away I don't think so. Actually, maybe we should do a few things. Let's think about moving forward. I want to block these tiles to make it more difficult for Shaka to move units when the war begins. Because I can't imagine the war not beginning, like, that would be weird. Next. Something like this. Mm, what else are we doing, by the way? This is quite important. How many buildings do we still need in the capital? Quite a few. I'm um, thinking if there is um, a free tag somewhere. Um, I think the closest one is uh, once we get under. So I want to spread the religion first before we enhance it. That's another free tag. Yeah, because I changed my plans here a little bit. I'll try to get the steel as a free tag. I think uh, if we start fighting Shaka, we should be able to um, like get it th through our unique ability faster than just researching. Of course, we have to get these two first. Uh, but that should be possible, researching these two. Then a switch grab some of these cheap tags, get free steel through our unique ability. Then I was thinking about going for something like machinery, but I think just Cheva should be enough for a while. So we can grab education and then maybe return to get machinery, but we'll see about that. Yeah, and we also have to pick up chivalry at some point because castles will be quite important. Mm. There is a lot that we need here. Uh, next. Okay. Oh, that was an interesting move. Why would you do that? Even as a bait, that's quite expensive. That was a really nice catch. Oh, did he declare on... No. I thought that uh, someone declared it on Monte. <coughs> Excuse me. Fortify, fortify. 
So what do we need now? Now we need a bunch of uh, composite bows. Next. I don't think I want to hold this tile necessarily. At least not yet, until there is the uh, the citadel. It's too dangerous. Oh really, Isabella declared on Assyria, wasn't she, wasn't she asking me about Monte? This is the, like the last thing that we need. Wait, what was that? Something about India and... India and Shaka. India denounced Shaka? Or was it the other way around? <clears throat> Next. should help a lot so I hope that India just takes over here and I won't have to worry about uh, units coming from the north and from the west and from the south on top of them Just do some damage to the pentagon there, I think. Next, I'm gonna buy one catapult, because catapult is a lot more effective against ships than um, uh, composite bows. It's not too bad. You have two cities that want wine, so you'll get the wine up before the horses. How much is the catapult? 310 I hope that this guy also got the promotion perfect
next. Hmm. So far, so good, I think. I might even want to move forward and shoot the swordsman but uh, how many hit points does he have 53 so there's no way i'd kill him maybe it's better to just stay and heal this is tempting but again i can't get a kill and even if i could this feels like a like a trap just gonna do this should be able to get a kill finally one two three four five turns that's a long time about getting one more composite bow but catapult is gonna do so much more damage to ships next okay so the catapult has to die Wow, that's fast. I guess India will get Nongoma and I can't really do anything to change that. So unfortunately I have to get the catapult here because I can't guarantee that the catapult would spawn here. And even if it did, I have a feeling those pentacunters would be able to do enough damage. Uh, listen, Germany. Let's declare on Shaka or not. How much do you want for whales? Can we get it for three? Next. Oh, I, I just asked you about this dude. He doesn't want anything now. Much 
do you want for the chocolate? Three? Let's start it with this. I'll buy his chocolate for three gold per turn. Not like this. Okay, let's try again. That's much better. The, the second horse as well. How much did he pay this time? Nine? Eight? Sure. Do we have to be able to get some uh, a little bit more somewhere else? I kind of want us wants Germany to be strong. Oh, look at that. I want Germany to be strong uh, so that we have uh, another strong AI keeping Shaka busy. Next. This is a problem. And of course, I don't even don't have the damage. Uh...
Okay, let's sacrifice the spearman, most likely. I hope that um, he'll work as a bait for the pentagon terrorists. He may survive. That would be great, of course, but it's just important that at least one of the pentagonters attack him. This is probably a bit more expensive than just three, four, five. Is it worth five gold per turn? Because it will proc be love the king there in our capital, it probably is. Yep, it worked. Good. Oh, nearly not uh, as much damage as I hoped. Yeah, I misclicked the uh, here something. I guess I moved the swordsman. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay, we can adjust, I think.
think if I stay here, I'm just gonna lose the spearman. <sighs> Need so much more damage. That was actually a mistake. I think if I use the catapult to attack the spearman, then I probably would have enough damage. Just need to get the general on the hill, then. Problem solved. And yeah, I'll have to rework uh, all of these roads a little bit later. For now, I just want to uh, have the connections as soon as possible. And later, when we get villages, uh, I will change a few things probably want this road to go this way uh things like that but that can wait I think I saw some units going this way, so I'm gonna send Garrison to Axum. Damn, this is going to be close. Next. 
next. Okay, so now I basically have to figure out how to kill this spearman. The other one is in zone of control. Um, this is definitely a good start. Probably have to do it this way. I hope that they can't ignore zone of control. Okay, fingers crossed. Yeah, this is fine. As long as there isn't a melee unit around here, I don't care. How long are we growing? Seven turns. Can you speed things up a bit? Why can't I work this tile? There we go. Six. Next. 
Oh, and this definitely helps. That's Chairman Trireme, and I'm pretty sure they're still at war. Yep. So that should block uh, the ships trying to get to us. That is great. Now we should be able to do this safely. Attack, attack. That's not enough damage. Hmm. Yeah, this is a Blitz Spearman, so that's a pretty valuable target. Shouldn't lose the Swordsman. Need to move away from the coast. Now we just need to heal. Next. Okay, can we kill the swordsman? No, we can't get even close. Holy moly. Might be able to kill him next turn though, because the only way for him to retreat is back to the sea. Ah, oh, maybe. I'm a lot more interested in this tile because that gives me vision now and later if I get the citadel here um, that's gonna help a lot with the attack on Bolavio if I get this um, if I buy this tile I don't really care about non goma this much to be honest now when it's in Indian hands whatever I may still get a citadel on the iron just to secure it Make sure that I don't lose the tile to an Indian general. That's, I think, what happened last time. Could kill him like this.
Hmm. I want to have a composite bow here. Next. How is that not a kill? Next. Mm, you two are already done. Well, that was a quick war. I guess India just got what they wanted from it and peaced out immediately. How many hit points do we have? That's something I should probably keep an eye on. Oh, Monty got Oracle. That's gonna help him a lot. More horses. Excellent. I also have to do something about this food situation here before we lose population. Should be a kill. Great. So how are we doing? We'll get the next social policy. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be less than 11 turns. Um, let's check the tech count. We are on 17 and five social policies. Four attacks behind Shaka. One social policy behind Shaka. Germany, Arabia. Aztecs, 23, 25 for India, 26 for Assyria. Progress, tradition, 
two people going statecraft, authority fealty, so yeah. Monte is in a pretty decent shape. I think he's doing better than last time. Tradition artistry. Tradition statecraft. Germany is screwed with this combination. Technically we are on 18. Plus the free tag. So we are not that far behind. I mean it's not great but... Could have been worse. Can we trade here? No. Uh, how much do you want for sale? Too much. I'm just checking if any of our cities want sale. There is one. How long is this gonna take? I will probably just wait and then buy more swordsmen because, of course, it's only our swordsmen that can be upgraded into Cheva. So we want to get as many horse, um, horsemen, swordsmen as possible. At this point, I think Wonder isn't even that great, uh, but we'll have to feed Adwa. Uh, it's not working on Aqueduct, that will help a little bit. That is a problem. I hope that I managed to do enough damage so that the trireme is just gonna run away. You ran away. Um, we need to heal to like 300 hit points at that point. I'll start feeling safe again. How many cities does Shaka have? Just out of curiosity. Six. Germany is on seven. India is on seven as well. Germany seems to be in a better shape this time. But well, Germany was in decent shape last time as well until uh, Impi happened.
Okay, so let's make a cut here. We'll continue next time. Uh, it was pretty close, but I somehow managed to uh, defend Adwa. The problem was that we couldn't pop the Citadel for quite a long time. I think I made a mistake there. At one point, I should have probably risked staying on the hill with one of the swords. I thought that I just could play it safe and then take the hill back, and I was wrong. I also didn't expect Shaka to just go for it and send so many units uh, to attack. Okay, so we are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.